Hey everybody, Leo Blocks back with another video. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how to make a tool give you currency in Roblox 2022 edition. Last time, my tool was really bad, and you guys told me the code was way outdated. A lot of you guys also pointed out that the currency only showed on your screen, so the other players in the lobby wouldn't even see how much money you had. It would always just say zero for everyone else except the person they were playing as, which was pretty bad. But I figured out how to fix it. I also figured out how to add auto saving along with tool delay. A lot of you guys asked me to add a tool delay. <laughs> See, I also added a script to make a GUI appear on your screen every time you click so you can see how much money you get per click. Anyways, let's get into the video. Okay, now that I'm in a new base plate, you're gonna wanna add a script to Workspace. We're gonna be making two scripts in Workspace. Anyway, name the first script function. Now add the other script and name it leader stats. Next, add a remote event to replicated storage and name it give money. This is the event that will be called every single time you click to actually give you your currency. Now you need to add a screen GUI to starter GUI. Then add a frame to the screen GUI and a text label to the frame. Then move the text label to screen GUI and delete the frame. You won't need it anymore. Now you can customize the text label however you want, but if you want to do what I did, I'll put the properties up on screen right now. Okay, now that you're done editing your text label, you are going to want to name your screen GUI Money Pop-Up, capital M, capital U, and name your text label Money Text, capital M, capital T. Also, you need to change the text transparency on your text label to 1, so it won't show up on your screen permanently while you're just playing the game, it will just say plus 1. Okay, this part of my recording got corrupted, so I'm going to show you a separate video of what I did. This part is very important, so make sure you do exactly what I do. Go to File in the top left. Then go to game settings. It will pull up a menu. It has a bunch of different options. But the one you're going to want to click is security. Then where it says allow HTTP requests, you are going to want to enable that. Make sure it's enabled. I already have it enabled because I had to go back and record this because my recording software just broke and it wouldn't show it. So uh, make sure this is enabled. If it isn't enabled, it, you won't be able to auto save your money and that is really annoying and it stinks for game developers because your money never gets saved and it stinks. Next thing you want to do is add a tool to the starter pack. This is going to be the tool that we're, we code to give us the currency. Now we need to make the tool so it's actually visible <laughs> because then it would just be invisible and no one wants that because then it would look weird and you'd just be getting money for not doing anything. <laughs> you can customize the tool however you want. If you want to do what I did, I'll put the properties up on screen right now. But also, if you want to make a tool very detailed, I suggest watching my video. I'll put it in the description. It's a little bit older than this video, just so you know. But it'll be in the description or right here in the top right. Now you're going to want to name the block you just made and customized Handle with a capital H. Then move it to the tool we just made earlier. And add two local scripts to the tool. Make sure they are local scripts. If they're not local scripts, the code won't work because it has to be local. 
Now name the scripts Detector with a capital D and GUI in all caps. We will code these later. Anyway, it's finally time to code. First, we're going to code the leader stats. Now type what I type. Make sure you guys get all the capitalization numbers and periods right, or the code won't work. A lot of you guys said the code wasn't working, so if you want, I'll have most of the code down in the description, if it all fits. Alright, now that we have the leader stats code done, let's test it. It worked! I have 15 money because I've used this auto save on this base plate before, but that's good to know all the code is working. Now let's code our function script. Do the code I do. Now this code would work and it would give you one currency per click, but if we make a new variable, it would make it way easier to change the amount of money you get per click. We would just have to change a single variable instead of having to change a whole line of code. So let's do that. Okay, right here our variable is named money amount. And since we made it, we can just make it say local money equals the amount of money you want per click. Just set one to whatever you want. I set mine to one because I only want one money per click. Okay, now time to code our detector script. Type this code. Okay, this part of the code tells the main script if the tool is equipped. And this part of the code tells the main script if the tool is unequipped. Now it's time to code the GUI script, so our players can see how much money they get per click. Do this code. Okay, now that we have typed all of that code in the GUI script, let's test it. It worked! Oh wait. The money giver, the save money, and the click delay are all working, but the GUI needs to stay on the screen for a bit longer. So let me fix that, and I'll be right back. Okay, I found out what I need to do. I forgot, but code is annoying, and guys... Just go ahead and copy off what I have right here, and I'll have it in the description if you guys just want to copy it from there and then paste it into your script. And that's basically just make it match my code, and that's it. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. This beautiful cinnamon toast crunch.